Hello again, it's uh, Charlie here from Sterling Power. Just to do another video on the performance of these uh, new range of 2022 battery to battery chargers. Here in front I've hooked up or I've rigged up the BB12120 just to show you its performance I suppose. So in the middle I've got the voltmeter and I'll show you the input and output voltages and I've got a clamp meter showing the input current uh, and then another clamp meter showing the output current. So if we look at what the input voltage is, we're getting 14.45-ish volts at 117 amps going in. And on the output, we are getting 14.5 volts at 110 amps. So you can do a quick uh, power calculation yourself. So 14.5 times by 110.7, you're looking at around 1620 watts on the output and around 1700 or so watts on the input. Give you some idea of the, uh, the efficiency as well. You'll be able to calculate the efficiency with those input and output powers. Now, I've had this running for 45 minutes and that is stone cold. You can feel a bit of bit of warm air coming out of the back of the device here, but it just gives you an idea of the level of efficiency of this DC to DC charger. Now I've only used fairly thin cable here because it's what I had lying around. Uh, that's 16 square mil. Uh, I would highly recommend the installation or the use of 35 square mil, particularly over long cable runs. So yeah, that's just to give you some idea of the performance of the BB12120. The efficiency value is even higher when the device is bucking. So if I was to put a big load on the output now and the voltage was to drop, the input and output power would have a closer parity. And you'd be looking at somewhere in the region of about 98% efficient when the device is bucking. Boosting is slightly less efficient. Uh, but generally speaking, it's somewhere between 95 and 98% in general. Which is why it runs so cool. Oh, what?